Hey guys, happy Saturday. I hope you're having a great day so far. Um, here in Cedar Rapids, we are having a lovely day of sunshine and warmer temps are coming. So we're really excited about that. I thought I'd pop in um, for a few minutes and just show you um, some of the journals that I am working on right now in my art journaling practice. I usually have um, several books going at once. Um, and let's not even mention all the blank books I still have uh, sitting on my shelf waiting for me to start because <laughs> I'm kind of a hoarder of uh, books and journals. Um, but these are the current ones that I'm reaching for uh, right now. And I'm kind of in varying stages with each one. I'm just working to fill these up before I uh, go on to new books. So let's start with the bottom, the largest one first. So this is um, an old library book, um, which is one of my favorite things to journal in um, because for one, um, they're cheap. I think I got this at like an, a book sale for a buck or two when the library was clearing out old books. Um, and you can get them, you know, Goodwill and stuff. Um, and everybody who does altered books has a different um, preference. For me, I really like a book that has really heavy matte paper in it and um, kind of a weak spine <laughs> so that it lays nice and flat. And you'll find the older the book, um, the more you need to reinforce the uh, the spine a little bit as you go. So you'll see through this one, I've, you know, put strips of fabric or tape to um, just reinforce it and just kind of hold it together. Um, sometimes I gesso my pages ahead of time. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I use just extra paint that I have left over from a painting project and I just smush it in there. And um, what I love about uh, old library books is they already have stuff on them. So you don't have that intimidation of the blank, you know, the perfect blank uh, page. It's, you know, just less intimidating. And just knowing that you only spent a dollar or two on it just even frees you up more. And once I get this uh, filled up, I'll do a flip through on that one for you for sure. So that's some um, that's the first one I'm working my way through right now. The next one is, this is an old um, planner that I ended up not using because I found a better planner <laughs> to use. So, um, but I loved the size. I love the feel of it. I love the paper inside. So I decided to save it. So with this one, I am gluing a couple of pages together to give it just a little more weight. Um, I use a lot of wet mediums, so a lot of ink, glue, acrylic paint, that kind of thing. Um, so it just holds up a little bit better when you glue the pages together. So this one, I'm kind of just filling with abstract explorations. So I'm... Um, kind of keeping this one with a theme and I'm just practicing experimenting with different colorways um some ideas that maybe I would want to blow up onto a larger painting so that's what this one will be I'm only three spreads in and I've got a few more to go but um yeah so again I'll share that one with you too and I'm going to do something on that cover too it's a really nice sturdy cardboard cover that's that one the next one is on uh, this is a moleskin daily planner so it's got a page for every day um i love these at the beginning of every year i buy two so for those of you who don't know my husband is um, also my coach in uh weightlifting and uh, workouts and stuff and I have a friend and neighbor Mary who comes with us and um, he insists that we each keep a notebook of our what we do that day for the workout like writing down our weights and and da 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 da, da. and uh, that has been really helpful with my physical 
health journey, but I also buy one every year for my business stuff. Um, and this, I would say business and personal stuff. So this one is from last year and the pandemic hit and we weren't going to the gym. And so it's, um, it starts off full of, you know, some workouts and stretches and things that we did. And then March hits and it's like, it's blank. There were a few things in June I wrote down when we were working out outside, but pretty much it was like a wasted notebook. So this one, I couldn't just let it sit and go to waste. And so I'm trying to do a word a day. And if you're following me on uh, Facebook and Instagram, you've probably already seen these. This is just a quick, basically I'm doing a smoosh, a scribble, some collage and a word. And I'm only allowing myself like five minutes to do these. Um, and so I'm just doing one a day. And then like, sometimes you'll see part of my workout there and sometimes you won't. Um, so this has just been a fun, quick little thing to do to warm me up for the day um, in the studio. And it'll take me a long time to fill this all up. So we'll see how far I get with that. But it's kind of, I feel good you know, not wasting it. So that's the Moleskin Daily Planner. And the next one is, this is um, Handbook. And this is the Square Sketchbook. Um, I think it's five and a half inches-ish square. And um, I started using it when um, I took Louis Rosignol's um, sketchbooking class. This is some a spread that I did in his class and I really love his, look him up, his work is really amazing. Um, I am not a minimalist and this has been a real challenge in just learning how to be a minimalist. Um, you know, let your work just stand on its own. But of course, I've got to fill the rest of the book. And so that's what I'm doing <laughs> slowly but surely. Again, this is just extra paint that I throw in there. It's kind of like a little sidekick journal, which I'll share with you too when I fill it up. Um, this is sketchbook paper. And so I double up the pages as well. I just use Mod Podge or gel medium to double those up. So that's that one. And then finally, I have the, this is a moleskin watercolor. I think this is watercolor. Um, it's a little mini journal and I started it years ago. Um, <laughs> it's splitting open because I'm packing it with so much stuff. Um, and I just pulled it out and decided, all right, I'm just going to start this one over. So I actually painted over some of the old spreads that I did a while back and did some new stuff. And some of this was inspired by Lewis's class, too, of just picking fun little things to sketch every day. Um, and again, just five or ten minutes, just being quick and random um, with my mark making. And this size is so fun. It's like... I think it's like three and a half by five ish. So you can get instant gratification, you know, just filling in a spread within just a few minutes. So, and it was kind of fun. Some of this is the old page peeking through underneath some of the new stuff I threw down. So uh, having a lot of fun with that one, probably because it's so quick to work in. So, that's what I'm up to. I would love to hear about you and your art journaling practice, what kind of books you love to work in. Um, so send me a message. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day, guys.